in Mexicali right now. Um, I'm actually going to see one of my favorite people, um, Lucy, who was my translator at our church site. Um, I haven't seen her for two years, and so I'm really excited. Um, my name is Katie Delgado, and I got the opportunity in high school to go with Mexico Outreach. And showing up in that place and setting up a campsite, you decide for a week, this is going to be my home and this is going to be the place that I come back to every night. There's nothing special about it, there's barely any trees around. Just hanging out with the kids and talking with the women and playing soccer. To be with a church family in Mexico has really been the place where God has shown up for me. I've experienced more healing in this place than in the rest of my life. And it was really coming to the place in that field of I can see so clearly that everything about who I am has been made for this. And so I just knew that I was supposed to be in Mexico. We definitely have this idea as Americans that we know how to do ministry. We're going to build this home and give it to this family and they're going to be so happy and their lives are going to be changed. But we're missing then the fact that there's healing in relationship, there's healing in spending time together. So as much as we can go down and we can um, help build a house or hand out clothes or food, um, that has to be coupled with spending time. I think the first time I went down, I, I didn't really realize what I was getting into. I didn't realize what a mark it would make on my heart um, to have these relationships. We normally say you, you're my brother in Christ, but we normally we don't show that feeling. And we're a family, that's why we should treat each other like a real family. And I'm happy that you're happy that you've been busy working in Christ. Thank you for remembering us. I won't forget you. I won't ever forget you. You're such a wonderful girl. It really involves stressing to people. All of us are unique and beautiful and need um, with the glory of God within us. And so when you go to Mexico, you're not going to them, to this group of people that are so different than you. God's already in Mexico and He's already doing so much. We just go there to take part in what He's doing already.